miracle. No, they tire Jesus. So, to bless the person, no, they tire Jesus. So, he done the wrong before, he still they do wrong again. Cha! Miracle, no, they tire Jesus. You people, the eagle has finally landed. My passport has finally been brought to me after three months and nine days so into this you know the thing is here yeah, at one point because even after i made the last video where i said don't worry when this passport comes i'm going to let everybody know so people were still asking me again and i was like god even not for my own use let this passport even just arrive so i can let everybody know that ah it has arrived oh it has arrived it has arrived I don't know how I offended them. They have, they have, they have refunded me, left my front center. Nigerian High Commission, Nigerian government, everybody involved. Thank you very much for letting go of this passport finally to me. So guys, um, welcome to my channel. And in today's video, we're just going to be unboxing this baby that has been sent to me. The last time I felt like this was when was when I got my visa and this just feels it's like they've given me one I've won one lottery uh something something big has just happened because ha, geez, I can't believe it. So prior to this day, yeah, prior to this day, I remember I said it in that video that um, while I was the first on the line that day, I had some people that were behind me. And so we just exchanged numbers to contact ourselves to know if, oh, has your passport arrived or has mine arrived? So we'll just be able to track. So, I mean, it got to the date that they had written on the collection date and we didn't get it. And that was that was in August. Yeah. It was it was meant to have come in August, I think, 20th or 21st. So it got to that day and then she, one of the girls messaged me. I mean, I didn't forget to yeah. No, the girl's message to me. I was like, Have you received it? Like, received to what? And she's like, Ah, the data has reached to. I was like, I've not received it. So I was like, Okay, let's track it using the Royal Mail because I mean, the special delivery envelope that we had was for Royal Mail. So um, we, we went on Royal Mail, we put in the number. Of course, when you buy your special delivery envelope, there's no, not from them actually, but when once you go to the Nigerian High Commission, there's like a stamp number that they put so that's what we used to like in tracking it by the time we even put this in <coughs> we have not they don't even understand <laughs> they don't know we should try again the next day so i was like see this thing is not ready it is not ready let's stop joking with ourselves it is not ready and she was just like oh let's just ask somebody somebody say oh she doesn't know and like see me me i know that this thing is in that office it's not with royal mail because i have ordered a lot quite a number of things from royal mail and they're really really good really efficient so this one is not royal mail and then we we ordered for first class like first class that i mean arrived to you really fast so i know that this one is not royal mail it's with them so she was like, okay, there was another one on their site, like the Nigeria High Commission site. And we're like, okay, let's go and track. That too, you can also track to see like the steps on which your 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 passport is. <laughs> so we log on, we put in our reference number. So that's for the reference number that you used when you were doing your application form. The reference number and I think the application number, yeah, just two things. And then you know what, we put in these two things. And we go in and you know that what issues i think it should that we are still on the first stage first stage means that oh we have just paid we have just paid for um for renewal like it didn't even get to the point that we had even done biometrics it didn't even show to the point that we have submitted like it was still showing that we just made payments like we have not done all of these things when i just saw that i was like see this one cannot even work this site we, we shouldn't even bother let's just be holding on and i think at a point i think she was me i was still you know a bit you know less worried because mine was not going to expire anytime soon mine's going to expire in november right so i wasn't that uh, too much in a, in a worry but she was because hers was going to expire that august right so i, I understand that was why she kept checking 
and then I remember, you know, she was just, I was there and see. So I was like, do you know when we were about ending September? You know, at a point, you know, she was, she even had like, she was going to have like a visa sponsorship. And of course, she needed to use her passport and it had expired and she didn't have what to do. I'm like, God, even for anything, even my own doesn't come first. Like, can she was oh, just arrived first so she could use it for her stuff because at this point, I don't even know. Okay, if you're even checking and you're seeing that, okay, my own, I still have many months. Okay, give the people that their own have expired now. Why are you still holding on to it? So, you know, I don't even know. The same day it was delivered, that was yesterday. I mean, I was going for a volunteer program with the British Red Cross. And then in the morning, I was just telling myself that if we enter October and this passport does not come, we need to go to the Nigerian High Commission. I don't even know. I, I was at that point. I was like, "How are we even going to start? Are we going to join that long queue again and wake up early and then start telling them, oh, we are coming to come and you know ask about our passport? How are we even going to start it?'" But I was like, "I don't know." But let me just tell this girl that if he enters this month, October, going to four months and it doesn't come, we need to go to their office. And then I don't know. I just forget. And I'm like, "Okay, when I get to the venue, the volunteer venue." I'm going to send her a mail. I'm sorry, I'm going to send her a message and you know, let's you know, plan a day to go and visit them in that place. And you know, so I went for my volunteer program. I mean, it was a long day uh, in Foxhall, London, and we had a 10 kilometer walk, which was really nice, raising money for um, people in crisis and all of that. And then, I mean, I think around three or four, um, it was done, and we're about leaving. To our various you know houses and homes and then i just get like a lot of messages she's like ah oh, finally finally my passport has gone like ah you are even in leeds i am in london my own has not arrived your own has arrived okay what well, girl cannot do does not exist so she now like she was so excited i was like ah you deserve to do testimony this one is a miracle on this one she was like she was really just you know putting all those emojis and all that and i'm like okay what about your other friend because she came with a friend she says in leeds one in scotland so i was like okay what about your other friend has she received hers and then she was like oh let her just message her friend i know sorry i'm taking long don't worry we are going to unbox even me myself i have not seen it it's still in the palace at the brushes and so she sends a message across to her friend and I think her friend checks and sees that, oh, they had attempted delivery, but maybe nobody was at home. And she's like, oh, I'm sure that's it. So that she has told them to bring it back or something like that. The next day, I'm like, ah, so it's me that is left. They've delivered to Leeds. They've delivered to Scotland. Me, that their office is here in London. I never receive her. Like, okay, this week, let me give them this week now. They didn't do it for me, and I know prior to like last year, I just told God, God, I bet this week I've been training to. I don't want to be thinking about this passport, please. They should just give it to me, please. I don't know what is happening there. And you know, the thing is, so one time this babe had asked, you know, one guy, he says he does fast track for people, and I think when he had gotten to like two months, you know, I think I don't know, she came across the guy and asked him. And that one had told her that hey, uh, I'd see, I don't know where your passport is, so but it should have delivered it by now because even the people that me I did fast track for everybody has received it and all of that. So she was just putting all of this worry into her, and I, I don't even blame her because her house had, had expired, so she just needed a new passport. So when she told me this, I was like, Do you think it's really true that your passport is missing? I'm like, Your passport is not missing, it's in that place because I've heard of people that have received it four months after. Five months. I've heard of people that have not even received after one year. They're still saying NIN something, something. I've heard. So I was like, see, your passport is in that place. Don't worry. Calm down. But of course, I understand how worried she was, yeah? So now I get into my bus, about to get home. I'm like, okay, Mio, let me wait for this week and see what's going to happen. And then she was like, just try it because she was, she's always been to too much of this tracking, tracking. She was always been, she was going to make me to track the real mail. She, has been, she was going to make me to track it on the Nigerian High Commission page. So she was like, just track this thing again once more on the real mail and just see what they say. Because I, I had gotten enough of, sorry, we don't know what this is, check again next day or blah, blah, blah. So I was, I didn't even go to track anything again. And then she was like, just track and just see where it is. 
so I put in this number on the I didn't even have hope like that I have honestly <laughs> so I put in this number on the on the royal mail page and then I just delivered somebody has received it from I say stay line and I see the special delivery envelope of course so this is like the special delivery envelope you know that's class that you buy at the post office and then the stamps that they put for you at the post office that you take to the Madden Nigerian High Commission. And then I just see a picture of when they had delivered it. I saw that they even delivered it by 10 a.m. that day when I stepped out for voluntary program. I was like, it's a lie. It's a lie. My passport has finally come out of that office. Like, I didn't look forward to anything. I just wanted to, you know, the boss would just run and let me go home and just let me just touch it. And guess maybe I just got back home. I started searching for where they had kept my things so and then I got to my room and I'm like Jesus I can't honestly I can't what what going to a full month full month full month what are you doing there what are you doing there when I am I, I am your mommy I am your owner so I'm not like I'm not even going to waste time I'm just gonna come here and you know we're just going to open it up and See what my new passport looks like. I'm so excited. So here's my old one. Can I edit everything? No. Everything is, is wiping off on, on the body here. And oh my god. This is my new passport. This is my old passport. Yes, yeah, so. It already even feels heavy. I've not even checked if it's my name that <laughs> is written on it. <laughs> Somebody told me you've never opened to check if it is your name and I'm like, nah, they can't do that type of mistake. It's not that I spent too long in their office. No, they will not do that type of mistake. So, I mean, it feels different. I don't know if you can already see. This one has like, must look like a close like type of material. It's Feels different, it's shiny, and she oh, sorry, everything on this one not clean up, so we can't even compare <laughs> But I mean, it really looks different from when I got this one in Nigeria, and of course, it's heavy. Me, I did, I did, I did 10 years, I did the 10 years one, yes, I did 64 pages just because I thank God I did it. Thank God I did it because I have classmates in school, I didn't believe at first. But I have two classmates in school who said um, they had gone on the site and they wanted to renew theirs and they didn't see the option for 10 years again. I don't know how true that is, but from two of them to say that, I mean, they did it at different times, but they said they only saw option for five years. Ha! Be like, say, everybody don't run, go do the 10 years because we don't want to see how their faces anymore. So, thank God I did. And you know you can't even and and then another part was that biometric states you know in the states even if it's not about to expire just go and start renewing it too because you don't know how many months your own is yours might take three days it might take one week you never can tell because it happens to a lot of people but just start early because i know of a friend as well whose passport is expiring next year may and he just you know paid um to have the renewal and do you know when they gave him a date they've given him a date for next year january <laughs> what's that supposed to mean what's that telling you it means that there's a lot of people on the line and you know the thing is after doing your application you have to make your payment you have to make your payment first before you can choose date for biometrics so after doing this payment and he's now trying to pick a date where he now is <laughs> to pick a date for January. I know one of them had gone ahead, but he had cancelled that out. I don't know what his option, I don't know what he plans to do. So yeah, I'm glad that I did the 10 years one. I glad I'm glad that I started the process early enough because I mean not like people, yeah, I was worried. But I mean, imagine those people that had their expired or they wanted to use it for the visa sponsorship with companies or for you know something so just imagine how those ones would feel i mean i just really wanted to arrive so i'm happy i did it early i'm happy i did the 10 years one i mean i'm 
looking for anything i'm just happy that i'm not going to be going back there any time soon at all so this is what it looks like as you can see shinier cleaner of course it's new now it's got really you know fresh pages on like this one that was you know plain and yeah it's heavy i have not checked my name more i'm not checking my name more. yeah kide a comma bun and yet yeah well you see how ugly i look on this thing remember i've already told people that day anything <laughs> did to me today i don't say if i do want me to move this week i remove it and take this picture just want it to come out well and all but i mean i'm super super excited the obviously the same size but of course you can like see the color difference but i don't even know why for some reasons i want to prefer the old one to the to this new one i don't know this that's like where your information page is for the new one it looks a bit like glass i don't know it's a bit hard and looks like something that will break like something that will break if you just try to fold it whereas this one was like the same you know fold the big some you can even fold the same foldable stuff that and you can even fold it but this one i think if you try to fold this one it's gonna break so this one this new one looks like a handle with cake kind of stuff handle with cake kind of stuff that you you must be holding it like a baby i don't know for some reasons i think i still even still like the feel of this old one but anyways I am happy. I don't know. Very, very happy. Very, very happy that this passport has finally come to me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I really feel really excited. <sighs> I even had a class in the evening at home that yesterday, but I, I could not focus on like I need to make this video where I can open up this thing with you guys and see this passport. I'm so, so happy and I'm glad that finally everybody that has been asking me as they arrived as they arrived as they arrived it has finally arrived and just just have hope that just is gonna come soon it will come eventually it's not missing and i mean another part is that like that yesterday they just decided to just treat that to all of us because i mean the one that leads who they went to her yesterday the one in scotland it got to her the one he, my own tree in london so that means everybody that was in that my batch i'm sure yesterday was the time that they had you know pushed it out to all of us and we did our biometrics june 23rd i remember so i mean if it's that period just know that yes it's gonna come it will it will come eventually just you know keep having faith like we did you know um don't get too worried and are you that is still waiting for your own date to be close okay oh no problem keep waiting keep waiting they'll give you dates for next year mid middle middle of next year so and so yes guys um, that's all that's all that's all as today is even nigeria's independence they should thank you very much god bless my dear country nigeria it will continue to be great thank you nigeria immigration service thank you thank you all of you god bless you before allowing <laughs> this passport to leave your office to the mother to the real owner thank you very much from the old to the new we love you so so much we love you so so much and yes guys that's everything that's everything honestly just start it early make your payment do your biometrics and just be chilling well i mean you know that the other one hasn't expired and you know that you can you still be using it while you just chill and wait rather than doing everything in a hurry where you have to pay that large amount for fast track i mean a lot of people pay things like 500 pounds 400 pounds what's that you pay all of that amount of money because you're in a rush you want to use it for a company you want to do visa sponsorship with it and you're in a rush and you're desperate thing with it don't wait till you get to that point and so with that guys i have come to the end of this video Please remember to subscribe, remember to like, and see you next time. Bye for now.